YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be another menagerie of topics. I'm going to show you a couple items I have for sale. I'm going to do a quick unbagging and mod shot what I unbag with a couple of different options, and I also want to give you an update on my Louis Vuitton Passy return slash exchange slash repair situation that I have going on right now. So let's go ahead and start with the items I have for sale and then we'll move on from there. If you follow me on Instagram or if you follow my community page here on YouTube, you might have seen recently that I posted all four of my Rogue shoulder bags for sale. And I know that that's completely crazy because I worked so hard to find these. They are made out of a delicious, smooth calfskin leather. They are so soft. This one has the ivy colored exterior with the floral bow print on the interior with the black copper hardware. And I've got to say, if you're gonna do black copper hardware, doing it in this form with a C-Link chain, I think that that's a pretty good way to go in terms of durability, much better than the dog leash clips that clip on and off of the D-rings. This bag is almost like new. I think there are some very, very light scratches on the bottom of the feet, which is very, very typical with any color hardware, but particularly with the dark hardware. I just can't get over how soft it is, and it pains me to sell this beautiful bag, but I haven't worn these in more than a year, and I kind of feel like I should let somebody else enjoy them, just like I enjoyed them at the start. Here is what the interior compartment in the middle looks like. It is very spacious, and I don't typically use the exterior compartments for anything but maybe some papers because I don't want to cause any indentions on the outside of the bag. But I have already sold my Beechwood Multi as well as my Oxblood with Rivets Rogue Shoulder Bag. These retail for $5.95. The Oxblood with Rivets retailed for more than that. And I'm letting this go for $2.99 shipped. So if you're interested, let me know. It's a dark green and the color is called Ivy. It's a lot like the Coach Amazon green. Almost the same, I think, but I've never had the two next to each other. The other Rogue shoulder bag I have left is this beauty in Heather Gray. Now she has this luscious oxblood suede on the interior pockets. It's so, so soft. The interior is immaculate, just like the other one that I just showed you. As you can see, wide open, spacious, got a zip pocket on that side, a snap pocket on that side. Both of these bags are incredibly rare. The ivy with the floral bow, I've only ever seen a couple of those for sale. This Heather Gray, it is widely, or it was widely available with the Safiano leather, but if you want this delicious, soft, smooth calfskin leather, I've only seen one or two of these for sale as well. Now, this didn't come with the Python Clochette. I think it's Python. And so if you want that, I will sell it to you, but these go for like $100, so it would be an extra $75 if you want that. And the bag I've got listed for $299. So that is the other Rogue shoulder bag that I have left. And just so you know, the smooth leather does get little marks on it. And this one has a couple of little marks like right here, but they are very hard to see. And it's not like it's the leather's chipped away or anything. It's just when something rubs up against this leather, sometimes you get little beauty kisses. And this one has a couple, but it didn't prevent me from buying it. So that tells you anything. You know, I'm Miss Picky here. So if you want this beautiful bag, make sure to send me an email or message me on Instagram. My contact information will be down in the description box. If you're interested in either one of those bags, don't wait. I posted five bags for sale yesterday and three of them are gone. And so 
you know, if it's something you want, don't think too hard because the prices I have are very good. They're basically more than half off when you consider taxes. So this is my mini unbagging today. I have a package from Paul with Next Fashion. He is a Canadian chain maker extraordinaire and I love his chains. I wish he made more silver and gun metal. He doesn't make any gun metal, but he's got the gold chains nailed. His gold chains are amazing. And I have a discount code that you can use if you want. I will put it down in the description box. I saw that he had this new candy box chain and I messaged him and said, can you please send me that? And so he did. Look at that beauty. This chain is a stunner. And just so you know, the way that Paul does his clips are a little more sturdy and secure than your typical Amazon chain clips. He has an extra layer of protection. There's an extra little bit right there that makes them last longer. And his finish, I haven't noticed any change in the chains that I have. And I also haven't smelled any funky chain smells like Sometimes metal gets a weird smell and his chains haven't done any of that. So I highly recommend Paul with Next Fashion. I think that that was the candy box chain. And this was either like the wheat or the woven chain. And look how beautiful that is. My goodness. Ah, oh, I love it. Look how beautiful that is. So this one comes with a lobster clasp like so and it opens great big and wide so some bags out there have really big hardware i think that this one would be good for that type of bag and can't remember what length i told him to make these i think i might have said 47 and 45. his measurements on his website do not include the clasps he does have the measurements for the class, but you need to add that on to the length because the length only includes the chain. So this one is 43 inches. And then this other one here is longer. I want to bet that I said 47 inches. And the way I order when I order from him, and yes, this is 47 inches, is I put in the notes 47 inches clasp to clasp because if you say that, he'll include the clasp in the measurement. Otherwise, it's not in there. And I had a situation when I got my first one that it was too long because I didn't understand that little point. So I was thinking of trying this candy box chain onto my beautiful multi-pochette accessoire and giving it a whirl because this bag comes with a web strap, but I don't have that. And it comes with a thinner chain and I don't have that on it right now but I thought this chain might be just fabulous with this bag. So I'm five foot eight inches and I think that this hits in a really good spot. This is a 47 inch chain and I'm digging it. I could even do 48 or I could shorten it a little bit and do 46, but 47 is a good middle spot for me. And let's look one more time up close and personal at how gorgeous this chain is. I had some of you asking me recently where to buy chains, and I would say if you're looking for a golden chain that you can't do much better than Paul with Next Fashion, I really like the color of gold on his chains. So for gold, I would probably say go with Paul first. Paul does have some silver chains, just not nearly so much selection as he has with gold. And as far as gunmetal chains, he doesn't have any. I have one coming from seethroughpurses.com that I'm going to show you real soon. I've got a little imposter back here. Chewy! And so I will see what you think of that one. It may be amazing. Stay tuned, okay? But for now, we're talking about Next Fashion, and we're talking about this fabulous chain on my Prada Re-Edition. These clasps turned out to be a fair amount larger than I thought they would be, but they're kind of cool looking, I think. And the Prada bag, it really needs to be up higher on the body than the multi-pochette because of the way it curves, because this part hits me lower on my body and gives me more room so I can wear the bag up higher. 
And I think that that chain with this bag is just stunning. Let's look one more time at the beautiful, what I'm gonna call wheat chain, but I may be wrong. And if I am, I'll pop it here in the picture somewhere. But that is so, so pretty. And just such a fun way to switch up the look of your bag because these only come with a short chain, just like the pochette accessoire. So putting a long chain on this bag instead of wearing it with the web strap is amazing. Last but not least, I'm going to talk to you just a wee bit about the Passy. The Passy has arrived in California, and I am in the process of exchanging her for another Louis Vuitton bag. They are totally working with me. I'm super pumped. I think they're even going to expedite shipping, so sometime early next week, I should have a new Louis Vuitton bag to reveal to you. They did offer me the option to return it or to just swap it out for another Passy, but I decided I would go with another bag in the same color palette because I do like the monogram with black. But that's it, folks. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.